So I've just been chatting online with an artificial intelligence and I asked it to build me a web part and it did. So it leads me to ask the question, is this the end of Robert's Dev Talk? My name's Rob and I've been developing web parts for years and I just got replaced by an artificial intelligence in the guise of chat GPT. Okay, that's a little dramatic. It hasn't replaced me just yet, but give it a few years and it just might. So I've been playing with ChatGPT and I'm going to show you how to build a web part just by asking a few questions. Before we get into it, if you haven't done already, we'd appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and give us a like. It really does help the channel to grow. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So before we build our AI generated monster of a web part, first we need to ask, what is ChatGPT? Well, I asked ChatGPT that. I wrote a question, write a short YouTube script describing ChatGPT. And it wrote, ChatGPT is an open source chatbot framework that uses the GPT-3 language model to allow developers to easily create chatbots that can hold natural conversations with users. It offers customization options such as language and topic training, and can be used with a GPT-3 API key and basic programming knowledge. Don't worry, we'll be getting to the web part in just a second. Okay, so I said, please give me a short one paragraph description of GPT-3. It said, GPT-3 is a large language processing model developed by OpenAI that is capable of completing a variety of language tasks, including translation, summarization, and text generation. It uses self-attention mechanisms to process input text and generate output text. And it is pre-trained on a massive data set of internet text. GPT-3 has been used in applications such as chatbox, content generation, and language translation. So basically I can ask it questions and it generates code for me. So let's see what it can do. So let's see how clever this AI is. Let's see if it's clever enough to build a React.js SharePoint web part. After all, that's what I do on this channel. I asked, please can you give me an example of a React.js SharePoint framework web part which shows a greeting based on the time of day. Name the web part greeting and make it a functional component. And it did. It generated a React component. So I thought, okay, it's not a web part, but it is the start of one. It's a React.js component. I then said, please show the example using TypeScript. And it did just that, the same component in TypeScript. Excellent. I then asked, please show the same example where I can pass the greeting message based on properties. Amazing, our component now has properties. Okay, so it's given me all the example code I needed for the component, but no web part. So finally, I tried again. Please show an example of a React.js SharePoint framework web part as a functional component called greeting. Greeting is passed as a property for morning, afternoon, and evening, and the greeting is displayed based on the time of day. Well, it built the component, absolutely awesome, but still we had no web part. So I was about to give up, then I said, please show this as a SharePoint framework web part. And guess what? it built the whole thing. I copied and pasted it into my project and it worked. So just a little flavor of what it can do. All right, I'm not quite out of a job just yet, but it's only a matter of time, I think. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Is it only a matter of time before us developers are out of a job or is it nothing to worry about? I'd like to know. Well, while us humans are still useful, if you enjoyed this video, please click above and follow the link where you can learn to develop in the SharePoint framework. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.